Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be taking a character made in Make Human, animating it in Blender and putting it into Skyline. So to start, let's open Make Human. OK, with Make Human open, we'll need to change the topology as the base mesh is too high poly for a game character. So go to the top menu bar and choose geometries. Choose topologies and then let select male1591.proxy. As you can see it instantly changed the character into a lower poly mesh which is much more efficient for game rendering. OK, so the next stage, let's give the character some clothes. Just go select basic jeans and basic t-shirt. Now that we have a character set up, we'll need it to be rigged in order to animate it. So head over to the Pose and Animate tab and choose Game. Now you should see a rig on your character mesh. This is all we're going to do in Make Human, so let's export it. Head back to Files, click on Export, choose Collada DAE, click this dot dot dot, and go to the folder where you wish to export your character. For this purpose, I've made myself a quick link to quickly export the file and name this my character. Save. OK, character's now saved. Let's minimize that and go open Blender. OK, with Blender open, the first thing to do is clear the scene. I am assuming you already have a basic knowledge with Blender, so I won't go through every single detail that happens. Uh, if you do have a problem, then simply re re rewind the video and rewatch a section. OK, let's import our character. Go to File, Import, DAE. I already have a folder set up, so I don't need to go looking for my file. Choose .DAE. OK, this is the important part. Choose Import Units. What this does is, when you export it from Make Human, it's 10 times scale than what would be inside Skyline. If you don't have that selected, Blender will export to Skyline with a 1 to 1 ratio, leaving a 10 times size bounds error around the mesh. So in clicking that checkbox to import the units bypasses a problem later on. OK, import that into the scene. There we go. Now select the armature. This is the skeletal rig that we exported from Make Human. To make it easier on ourselves to animate, we want to show the bones on top of the mesh. To do this, head over to the skeletal icon, click it, and choose X ray. As you can see, the bones are on the top. In order to create an animation, we need to set Blender into an animation editing mode. To do this, click on this icon and choose Animation. Right. Set the keyframe to zero. and put the, the skeletal mesh into pose mode. To do this, select a bone, go down to the bottom and choose pose mode. Set up the first frame of your animation by simply clicking on the bone, use the R key to rotate the bone and left mouse button to set the bone. So for example, we've got the, the left thigh selected we're going to press R, which will allow us to rotate the bone, and we're going to use the left mouse button to set the bone. 
select the left calf, press R, and left mouse button to set. If you're having troubles with moving the bones around using the R key, you can use the quaternion setup on the actual bone tab it, through rotation here. As you can see, editing each one is changing the bone. And there's the first movement done. Set the arms into the position however you want. There we go. There's our frame one. So the next stage we need to do is actually create a keyframe for all those bones. To do this, press the B key, which activates the selection. Click and drag, encasing all your bones. Press the I key and choose Lock Rot. This will generate a set of keyframes for each bone on the animation timeline. Scroll to zoom, scroll in to get a better resolution of each frame. Let's set the time frame now to 10 and start the next animation cycle. Again, select the bones, press the R key to rotate and make your cycle. Again, use the B key, select all your bones, press I and create a keyframe on, on the location and the rotation for each bone. Now you should have a key uh, an animation that you can slide between the two frames you've just created. I'm going to go through and create each cycle of the animation.
since the since this animation needs to loop, we need to copy the first frame to the last frame. To do this, select the top node and control C then move along, select your time and control V. This will blend it through to the first animation. So if we now scroll through, there we have basic walk animation. Not the best one, but it does. You can loop it round on the timeline by setting this bottom value to match the end frame. And then you can click play to watch your walk. Each frame now needs to sit at its correct point height for the actual bone on the skeleton. So go through and select that bottom root node, the pelvis node, and move the character so the feet are on the ground. Once you've moved the height, don't forget to set your keyframes back simply by selecting the timeline section and choosing location and rotation again. I'm going to go through the rest and set them up. If we play the animation back, we should see the character bobbing up and down as he's walking along the floor. There we go. Time to put this character into Skyline. We use the FBX format because it's the best format for getting any mesh or animation into Skyline with the highest success rate. So to do this, you first need to you need to exit pose mode and enter object mode. Select the character by right clicking on the head, then press B and select the meshes, all meshes plus the skeleton rig. This will allow us to export mesh data and skeleton data and animation data at the same time. Go up to file, export. FBX. Choose where you wish to save the FBX to. Enter a name, my character. Okay, now you need to set some settings up to make sure it exports correctly. You need to make sure mesh and armature are selected. You also need to make sure that you are baking the animation into the timeline um, into the mesh. For the way I've managed to make this work is selecting both of those. don't know what N NLA strips are, but using these options seem to work. When you're done and you have those selected, press export FBX. There we go. Minimize Blender and load skyline. On a new default scene, you need to open the Asset Manager.
and as you can see I've already got the folder open but there is the folder I exported the FBX to and there is the file simply left mouse button plus click and drag onto the scene and the FBX will convert the mesh into an animation as you can see when animating the arms are sticking out the middle of the chest now this is because those bones are not actually connected inside Blender so stop animating let's go back to Blender with the character open and look at why this is the case select the skeleton in Blender go back into edit mode and as you can see the actual clavicles are not connected to the spine the spine is a little bit too small so for this purpose let's scale it up and move right we need to connect this bone to this bone to do so right click on the one you want to join then just click connected and that will connect to the the main spine bone select the other bone and click connected as you can see those bones are now joint also select the neck node and do the same thing with these bones connected you should still be able to animate your character so go back to object mode and run through your timeline and everything should still work as it did once again select the character press B and select the skeletal rig and all meshes go back to file exports FBX click on the folder and that mesh should appear there we go drag my character 2.fbx onto the scene now when you animate the arms the legs everything should be as it was but it's 10 times too big we can fix this by going in using skylines mesh editor to rescale the character this rescales the mesh, the skeleton and the animation data to match. First click on mesh editor then import the editor. There we go. Open mesh file editing then change the scale offset into 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 with a space between. That should scale the character down. Make sure to save the mesh back to the hard drive and there we go in the scene make sure you now reload the scene entity so it takes the new mesh data and now we have a, a scaled down character that animates correctly upgrade the material Let's set it to uber and there we have a character from Make Human animated in Blender and put into Skyline. Thank you for watching this tutorial.